What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In this video I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the Star Wars Battlefront 2 DLC seasons and the Battlefront 2 loot crates which are part of the microtransaction system. Before we get into this video though, let me know down in the comment section below what Battlefront 2 videos you would like to see. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all Battlefront 2 content. But now into the subject of this video. So Star Wars Battlefront 2, as we all know by now, will have DLC seasons instead of a traditional season pass. These DLC seasons will allow Battlefront 2 to offer multiple themed content seasons rather than one set season pass. DLC seasons will be completely free content updates post launch and the first DLC season will be released in December with content based on The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi DLC season will include Finn and Captain Phasma as heroes as well as the new planet Krayt and a space map above the planet Dakar. DLC seasons in the future will include additional planets, heroes, vehicles, modes and weapons. They may also include star cards but we don't know that for 100% fact at the moment. The DLC seasons will probably be released every few months in a similar way to how the traditional season pass was released for the first Battlefront game. The only difference is that with the free DLC seasons they may slowly release the content over a period of a few weeks rather than releasing all of the content all at once on one day which will give people a chance to play absolutely everything that a DLC season will have to offer. At the moment that is all we know about DLC seasons. In Star Wars Battlefront 2 the rest is just speculation by fans but I do imagine that with free DLC seasons instead of a season pass the game will last a lot longer than the first Battlefront game did. With EA and DICE's first Battlefront game the season pass lasted for one year and over the course of that year it released four DLC packs. The Outer Rim, Bespin, The Death Star and Rogue One Scarif. After that there were no more DLC packs, free or paid, and the game did seem to die off. With free DLC seasons I imagine the game will last a lot longer. I think that EA and DICE will keep pushing out free DLC seasons for up to about two years before they release Star Wars Battlefront 3, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. To support the free DLC seasons in Battlefront 2 there will be microtransactions in the form of loot crates. However, you will also be able to earn these loot crates through credits that you will earn from playing matches in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2's loot crates will contain items that are not purely cosmetic and they will affect gameplay in some way. EA have clarified that the crates will contain random star cards which grant abilities such as extra health, damage or things like healing nearby teammates. Like I said before, you can purchase these crates with real world money as microtransactions or with in-game credits that you will earn from playing multiplayer matches in Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you earn duplicates within the loot crates in Battlefront 2 they can be converted into generic crafting parts which can be used to upgrade the cards you already have. Now this might seem like it's pay to win but EA and DICE have already came out and said that everything that you can unlock through purchasing crates in Star Wars Battlefront 2 can be unlocked by just playing the multiplayer section of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Like I said before you can actually purchase these loot crates by simply using the credits that you will earn from playing multiplayer matches in Battlefront 2. So if you don't have a lot of time to play the game to earn the credits you can use your real world money to purchase the loot crates to unlock the star cards where if you don't have the real world money but you have a lot of time to play the game you can just play Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer matches, earn the credits and then purchase the loot crates using the credits from the matches you have played. That is everything we know so far about the Star Wars Battlefront 2 DLC seasons and the microtransactions and loot crates that are going to be in the game. Let me know down in the comment section below what content you want me to make regarding Star Wars Battlefront 2 and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to smash a like on it to show support for the channel and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront 2 and other Star Wars games. Other than that may the force be with you.